Cuba certainly has the capacity now that they didn't have before. They uh, were able to uh, train uh, many, many people, I forget the exact number, uh, scores of people uh, in the work, uh, uh, the clinical research work that uh, we developed with them. They also have been able to take the training components that are necessary to enhance clinical care and put those training components into the training of their health professionals. So, uh, for example, uh, in the medical schools, material that we developed for use in the project was then modified and used in the training of future doctors. So they enhance their capacity in two ways. They enhance their capacity in their ability to do the clinical research that was their primary goal. But uh, they were able to take the lessons that they learned and incredibly quickly, incredibly quickly apply them to enhance the capacity of their education system as well. I also think that for the faculty members and the people that were involved, it really challenged them in how they practice medicine and research here in Canada because they were going to a country where there's a lot less resources and seeing what the innovative ways that they are able to overcome some of those and the dedication and the knowledge that the Cuban, Cuban healthcare professionals have. We were at a hospital where um, the, the Cubans used music to um, engage patients in their treatment. At the very beginning, we would see the group of patients that some of them were quite catatonic. And as the music continued, um, it was clear that uh, the smiles uh, were on, on uh, patients' faces. They started being engaged, uh, they started dancing. And um, it opened my eyes that perhaps we don't have all the answers. Dalhousie, Nova Scotia, got tremendous recognition for the project. So the value add here was the status of the university. It, it actually is seen as, a, as an important player in the global health arena through the work that it was successfully able to do here. We learned an awful lot from our Cuban partners. Their approach to health care, and particularly in public health, is a stronger approach than we've had here. And we were able to take some of the lessons of how they have developed their public health care system and share those lessons with the developers of our public health care systems here. So delegations from Cuba, sponsored by the project, met with people in the Ministry of Health, good interchange of ideas. And I think some of the ideas that they brought we will hopefully see in our future development of primary health care here in Nova Scotia. So I think that that was a really, really important component of the project is this two-way street. As the International Health Office, this was our first international project and our largest project to date, which involved a lot of different partners and a lot of different people with different backgrounds, skills, and abilities. So I think one of the biggest things the office has learned, in addition to management of a large-scale international project, was how to bring different partners and different stakeholders together to achieve a common end to improve health. In this case it was to improve research capacity. In another project it could be to improve rehabilitation or to improve training in some respect. So one of the biggest things our office has learned is how to work with a lot of different partners to bring them to the table to work together. Yes, I would do it. I would do it again. This, uh, this project was my first international uh, project that I participated in. And uh, myself, I'm a much better person and a much better clinician because of my participation in this project, and I would definitely do it again. Gracias, Maria. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien, ¿y tú? Sí, sí. I think that we, as an office, also were very uh, validated in the sense of our responsibility of our university to participate in these types of projects and what that brings not only to our university and to our students in terms of their education and training, but what we can do to make a contribution to improve healthcare of our partner institutions and our partner countries.